Welcome back. The time now is 443 and there is a concert happening this weekend that celebrates Baltimore's history of music. It was actually supposed to be one year ago. The pandemic canceled that the concert will bring a message of peace. As Jamie Costello reports this morning, the delay may push that concert back right into the time that it's needed the most. <laughs> The sound of a cello. Well, it's a message of peace. Emotionally, I will be thinking of that message that maybe through music we can tell the world that it is a good place and we don't need to fight. Baltimore's Handel Choir, around for almost 90 years, but this may be their perfect performance. Being a human that can use their art in order to make society better. A piece that first ricocheted off the fingers of the great Pablo Casal, who used these four strings to tell his life growing up in war. Voices will be a little louder, with the only weapons, a cello and a conductor's baton, performing Houses of Peace, commissioned by Baltimorean Joshua Bornfield. Wounded also. This is a, actually this is a Grancino cello that was made in 1695. <laughs> and uh, I call it Mr. Shoko, because Shoko in Hebrew is hot chocolate. And this cello sounds like I'm bathing in a hot chocolate bath. Not that I've ever done it. <laughs> and on Saturday night, he will play the violin on steroids loaned to him by Pablo's widow. And I love it. And this is my companion. I see it more than my wife and three kids. On Saturday, he will play his beloved hot chocolate for world peace. And you know what? Even to put it into more local context, that should be the message of Baltimore. You know, this is all about Baltimore and we need it also here. And that was Jamie Costello reporting. The Handel Choir Made in Baltimore concert will be held at 7.30 on Saturday night at Grace United Methodist Church. It'll also feature the works of Tupac Shakur, Edgar Allan Poe, for example. For more information on the show, you can go to our website, WMAR2news.com. Should be a good show. I mean, the sound in that piece was just amazing. You know, that close-up of that, uh, those instruments, wow. I mean, yeah. it looks pretty cool. A lot of talent in yeah, that choir. Yeah, absolutely. Today.